as you can see, uh, of course, none of my screwdrivers uh, fitted the groove. The groove is very, very thin, uh, so you should have a wide, uh, flat screwdriver with a very thin blade. Uh, so I put this off to until later. <laughs> it's probably going to uh, get me in trouble, but, but whatever. So let's take out all the screws that are holding the engine together instead. There are actually uh, 11 uh, bolts, well, 9, nine bolts and the two screws with uh, a nut on the uh, back side. So 9 bolts you have to uh, take out and uh, 2 uh, bolts with, uh, with a nut. And uh, when you do this, when you unscrew those screws, you try to do it in a cross uh, uh, assembly fashion kind of so it's and, and of course the same when you type them down so when all the screws are loose it's just to pick them up And very soon is going to get interesting. Well, I think it is interesting anyway. And uh, just because you are watching this, I believe you think it's interesting. I hope. And there is one of the screws uh, that has a nut on the back side. And there is the other one. <coughs> so now, now that we have all the bolts uh, out of the engine, it's actually just to uh, remove the front uh, housing or front. Uh, out of the engine. It uh, it usually sits quite well so I'm going to try to tap it a little bit just to get it loose. Sorry for not seeing that. And after uh, tapping it a little bit uh, on each side uh, back and forward I can see that there is a little bit of play. So now, as you can see, it's almost possible to uh, separate the rotor housing from the front housing. And there it is. And here is the beauty of the engine. Now, these engines don't have any corner seals and they don't have any side seals. They just uh, rely on a, a good fit between uh, the rotor and the side housings, actually. 
uh, so they only have three apex seals and the apex seals are uh, uh, dubbing as corner seals as well so now that we have uh, disassembled the front uh, side housing from the engine uh, let's see if we can get a better angle on this and some light and uh, this is maybe what I have uh, should should have done from the beginning however uh, I needed uh, I needed some uh, better play more more uh, space to show you everything so this is the internal guts of a uh, OS Rory Wankel engine and you can see that the uh, rotor housing is uh, lifted up with no problem and there you can see the three apex seals and uh, you can also see that the rotor actually rise from the internal gearing so I had to put it back just for the moment now this uh, is one of the apex seals and uh, they are actually cut very nicely in the back end they have like two teeth uh, I don't know if you can see the teeth uh, but between those those teeth uh, there are apex seal uh, apex, uh, apex is, uh, the springs are resting between those uh, teeth so uh, there are dual springs in each uh, apex seal this engine is uh, totally new so as you can see the rotor housing is completely unused <laughs> actually after after I uh, run it for a few times we can disassemble this uh, once more and see uh, if we can see anywhere on the apex seals, uh, probably on the, the springs we can see uh, where uh, I know that I disassembled uh, my old OS engines and you could see uh, like a mirror mirror flat surface on the springs and these springs are totally black they are unused so uh, this engine is totally new So let's just take out all the apex seals and the springs. We should have six springs all together. There are two. And the last one. Supposed to have two more. And there it is. Now we have to deal with the counterweight. Now those four uh, screws that you can see under the counterweight are uh, actually holding down the stationary gear on the inside and this is where you have to remember that the screw, this screw is tightened in the wrong direction so you are untightening it by screwing it in actually
Now you can see that there is a needle berry that uh, that is uh, running on the eccentric shaft. And also uh, the rotor is actually equipped with a needle bearing also. And the eccentric shaft is very well machined. It's a piece of work. I just love this engine. Just looking at the rotor you can see the quality of this. Now the internal gear in the rotor is actually a little bit lower than uh, the rotor itself so it doesn't interfere with the side housing, housing. and uh, I'm not going to take off the stationary gear because it, it's not interesting it's just four screws and and the, and the stationary gear is off so these are the core parts of the OS Rory Rory Wankel engine. It's a beauty. So next time I'm going to reassemble this engine. Uh, later on I'm going to put it in an uh, RC plane and start it up and uh, we'll take it for a flight. <laughs>